Here's how you avoid problems with appraisals in this market. Watch to the end for some pro tips. The challenge with the current real estate market is that if your closing is too far out and the property doesn't get appraised and the property values actually decline, you as a buyer are going to have to come up with the difference between the actual appraised value and the purchase price. So if you bought the property for $850,000, appraised value comes out at $800,000, the bank is going to lend on the $800,000 value loan to value and not the eight fifty, dollars which means you as a buyer have to come up with a difference. Now, there's a couple of ways you can avoid this particular type of issue. First and foremost, if you make your offer conditional on financing and get the actual appraisal done during the financing condition period, the bank will lock in that appraised value. You're going to want to make sure when you look at the mortgage commitment that they're not going to reappraise prior to closing, but this ensures that if the property is appraised today and the value comes out exactly where or close to where you actually made the offer uh, purchase price, your appraised value is going to get locked in and you're all set to go in that situation. Now, in really competitive bidding environments that still exist today, you may have to be more competitive and being more competitive means either increasing your purchase price or removing your condition for financing. Removing the condition for financing, again, can be risky, but if you have the property appraised during the time that you actually purchased it, rather than waiting 60, 90, 120 days when your closing would be, you can avoid that potential mess. Now, here's a really cool hack. If you make an offer, you're approved for 850, you make an offer for $800,000, the seller says, look, there's five other offers, you've gotta be more competitive. You may try to negotiate, and as a part of the negotiation, you might say, look, I'll increase my offer by 50,000, but I need to ensure that I have a condition for financing. Some sellers, given the extra $50,000, may actually give you the five-day condition for financing, which means now you've got five days to make sure that your approvals are gonna actually work out, and you can actually get the property appraised during that period, lock it in, have an extended closing, and you're all set. If you like content like this, subscribe, like, comment, share. It tells us that you're enjoying this content. We're going to keep putting it out based on that feedback. Ricky Rathor here again, broker owner, Emacs Metropolis, real estate lawyer, Rathor Big Professional Corporation. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.